Greetings to you all and welcome to another episode of Damole News. Hope you guys are doing fine and thank you so much for stopping by. So Nigeria man regrets voting Tinibu for president, says he have a car but can't drive it due to high cost of fuel. And also on this news, Lagos youth reject away with coalition's endorsement of Shei Tinibu as governor in 2027. Say president's son free to govern Oshu state and Imo state. So I'm going to be giving you guys the full details of this news, but please help us by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you. So a man simply identified as Lassisi Abiodu has expressed regret voting Bola Tinibu for president in the 2023 election. In the trending video, Abiodu who described himself as a supplier shared three main reasons behind his support for Tinibu in the 2023 general election. According to his words, giving one of the main reasons why he voted Tinibu in the 2023 general election, he said, First of all, I look at this man and say, this man is an old man and I feel that he has everything and there is nothing he will need for money again but to work for this country, Abiodu said. He further emphasized, what is it that this man wants again in this life? You don't need money again. But since this man entered this government, there is no work again. I have a car but I cannot drive it. Abiodu then explained his belief that Tinibu having achieved everything in life must be focused on serving Nigerians. He said he voted Tinibu because he believed Tinibu had acquired everything in this world and wanted to become the president to work for Nigerians. He also highlighted Tinibu's education, saying he voted and supported Tinibu because he is educated, he is not military, he is a democrat. Forget all these things about University of Chicago. The man is educated. Finally, Abiodu noted that Tinibu's experience in past government would help him solve Nigeria problems. According to him, he said he was personal assistant to Abiola, so he thought he knew the problems of this country and would fix the country. He continued by saying, I have a car at home and I have packed it because it would cost me 10,000 naira for it to go from Badari to Aja, he said. Alright, I'm going to let you guys watch the video of the man and I will be back to talk about our Lagos youth reject the endorsement of Shei Tinibu as governor in 2027. Okay, you say which make you vote Tinibu? There are three things. Uh, no, no, no. You understand me now? Mm -hmm. First of all, I look, say this man, okay. an old man. Okay. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Lassus Dada Adiobu. Okay. I'm a supplier. Okay. Since this man entered, this government now. Mm -hmm. There's no work again. I have my car. No, why do you make you support and leave? Give me the three reasons why you vote in the book. Then you get to get out of the sweat. Yes, okay. Why do you make me support in the book first day? Mm -hmm. I don't look this man, say this man don't hold. Okay. As you don't hold like this, there's nothing where this man. What, nothing where this man want again for this life. He no need money again. He no need money okay. again. I'm not expecting that old age okay. to still come back. I still look this our money. Okay. I support you say he's already acquired everything on this world. So he's going there to Yes, now say he's going to fix this country. Good. That's number one. Number one. Secondly, number mm -hmm. I voted for him and I supported him because of say okay, because the man is educated, he's not a military. He's educated. Yes, now don't let's forget okay, about Okay, okay, okay. Say, let me, let me, let me what I finish for you. Chicago, okay. okay, educated, he's not military, he's yes, a democrat. He's democrat, so you so, know how to feed this, this country. country. Very well. That's number three. Number three mm. is because Tinubu, he has been with this government. He was a theater to Abiola. Ad Adela. Uh -huh. so, I thought he know the problem of this country. Say be reason, na magic. No, it's not magic. You go so fix it. He's going to fix it. So he get good intention. He get good, good intention because okay. because okay. the ambition okay. is very high. Then okay. But immediately this man. I I about to be now. Ah, no paper. Are you are you not a Nigerian? Why are you not driving? I think you get motor now. Yes, of course, man. But why 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 because would they take I'm just going to fix something in Nigeria here. If I drive my car from Aja to uh, from a bad road to Aja here, yeah, uh -huh. I spend ten thousand halfway. But every man who here like this, just, he just cost me like one thousand. <laughs> 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 
what life is doing. This is what they say you will learn. You will learn in the hard way. I'm not traveling. No, are, le are you learning? Yes. Triple scammers have you no scammers? Ah, this scam. No, now I scam because I'm the Peter Obi. Uh, uh, even though you are Peter Obi, even though Peter Obi come there, I don't. You don't know. Don't judge anybody. I go judge. No. Based on, on what Peter Obi don't do what when he was governor. No, I'm not talking about. Don't let. Don't let. Let's mm. forget about. It's a maybe party or no party. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't love this. <laughs> send it to me. Let me see. I will send it to you. But the, the cross of matter is the same. So All right, guys. So that is it. So the coalition of Lagos indigenous youths have rejected the recent endorsement of President Bola Tinubu's son, Shei Tinubu, as Lagos state governor come 2027 election. The coalition of Nigeria youth leaders, an umbrella body of youth groups drawn across the six geopolitical zones on Tuesday, endorsed Shei Tinubu for Lagos governor in 2027. In a statement jointly issued in Owewe on Tuesday by the President General of the group, Comrade Gulok Ibem, Secretary Comrade Jonad Abubaka, Public Relations Officer Comrade Ino Bong Samsung, and Publicity Secretary Comrade Adeyomo Adewale, the body said it arrived at the resolution following a recent enlarged meeting of its leaders. So, according to the coalition, Shei Tinibu is free to go to Oshu State, where Tinibu reportedly is from, or Imo State, where the group issued its joint statement to become the governor. However, in a statement signed by Adu Karim White, for the coalition of Lagos indigenous youth on Wednesday, the group said that there is no vacancy for non indigenous in Lagos state. So, according to them, they said, Our attention has been drawn to the recent endorsement of Sheitinibu for Lagos state governor by a group known as Coalition of Nigeria Youth Leaders, and the group is described as the umbrella body of all the youth groups drawn across the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. The said coalition sat in Owewe in Imo state and publicly issued the statement on endorsement. While we know that Mr. Shei Tinibu has his democratic right as a Nigerian, we condemn the ill fated endorsement and describe it as anti-democracy and a deliberate move by some faceless individuals to deny indigenous of Lagos state right to govern themselves in 2027. It is no news that since 1999, no true blood indigen of Lagos state have taken over the mantle of leadership in the state except one, the marginalization which underscores the essence of democracy and an outright denier of the indigenous of Lagos state the right to govern themselves. We know as a fact that there will soon be vacancy in Osho state where Mr. Shei Tinibu can best exercise his democratic rights unhindered and if the people of Owewe in Imo are also interested in benefiting from the experience Mr. Shei Tinibu has acquired in recent times, they can push him to succeed Governor Ozudima. But as for us, there is no vacancy for non indigenous in Lagos State in 2027. The marginalization is too much, and the marginalization has led to the underdevelopment in the state. It is unbelievable that since 1999, our interlands are not developed. No good roads, Lagos State living on debt, and our traditional system distorted by successive governments. We are also aware of the moves by some non indigenous to penetrate our traditional rulers in getting endorsement and ratification from them. Recently, one of the aspirants suddenly traced his ancestral to Ojo local government after spending more than a decade in power without identifying with the Awari people of the Ojo in Lagos state. So we are hereby calling on the Oba of Lagos to beware of persons who will still seek indigenous of Lagos state because of 2027. According to the group, it is ready to fight dirty if the Oba of Lagos allows such at the Lagos indigenous move. We advise the leadership of the group to channel their energies toward advocating for good governance and policies that will benefit the youth constituency rather than instigating political crisis in Lagos state, it added. Alright my people, that is it. I saw this news and I decided to share it with you guys. So please let me know your opinion in the comment section and please help us by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you. Amen.